Hey YouTube, it's Alpha Male 202 here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get an application called SciPhone, how to set up the application, and how to give it a phone number. And basically what SciPhone is, is an application for any device. It's a free phone application, I'm going to say it again, free phone application. And you can use it on the iPhone 1G all the way up to the 3GS, and the iPod 1 to 3G. And to get it, you're going to want to go into Cydia, go into search. Search in the type bar, and it's called Siphone. S-I-P-H-O-N. You're going to hit search. And then you're going to want to scroll down all the way to S. And you want to scroll till you find it. And there it is, Siphone. So you click on it. Go up there, it's going to say install, but I am I already have my device, I'm not going to reinstall it to save time. So you're going to want to install it, and then go back to home, your home screen, and then you're going to see it right there, it's going to say Siphone. And then after, you're going to want to go into settings. And you want to scroll down to you see Siphone. There it is, Siphone. So click on that. And it's going to say username, password, and server. And you have to type in your information there. And now to get that information, you're going to want to put your iPod down. And you're going to go to your computer. And you're going to want to go into into your the URL box up here and type in VoIPBuster Pro or VoIPBuster.com. And you're going to scroll down. You want to hit the download bar right there and you want to hit download the VoIP Buster and this bar is going to come up you're going to hit save file but I've already done that on my computer so just to save time just go down to the downloads and then it's going to, you're going to click on it it's going to say English or whatever language you want hit OK next I accept next 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 and let it do its thing once it's done you're going to hit finish and it'll open up a box for you you want to put I am a new user and hit next and you want to type in your your information here so I'm just going to go ahead You want to type in a password. And for your emails, you want to put in a valid email address so you can get it back for ret retrieval. And you're going to want to put in your ver verification code. And here I don't want to put in my um, my personal information. That's I don't need to do that. So then just hit register, and then it says it was successful. So you want to hit OK. And this part you can skip over here. You don't you don't need to do this. So you can hit skip. Just keep it and skip. And this basically what it just did is it put a phone application on your computer. But I'll make another video of that later on. So now you're going to want to go back to your iPhone and you're going to want to type in your username, the username that you put in. And then you're going to want to put in your password. And your server, you're going to want to type in sip s i p dot so SIP dot V O I P Buster dot com. So sorry if you can't see that, but it's SIP dot VoIPBuster dot com. And you're gonna wanna hit just hit return and then home. So you're gonna wanna go hit hit into Cydia. 
It should say server unavailable, and then it should say connected right up there. So I'm going to go ahead and call my house. So here, I'm just going to type it. I'll just type it, so you can't see it. You know what? That was that was futile. <laughs> Hold on one second. I'll type it again. There we go. It's calling. And let's just watch. Oh, sorry. I forgot one one little problem. You have to type one in between before every number. Oh, sorry. So let's see. It's calling. Oh, and it's working. Dory, it's me. That was my mom. So I just called my host phone from my iPod Touch. Now if you want to give your iPod Touch a phone number so you can call it from your host phone to your iPod Touch, you're going to want to go into go into your, your Internet Explorer and you're going to want to go to the URL box and type in phone.ipkall.com. Once you're here, you're gonna wanna go. He you're gonna wanna go right here, click SIP, and right here you wanna pick any one of these area codes. But I use 360 because it's easy to remember. For where it says SIP phone number, you're gonna wanna type in your username you had before. Oh, I already have it there. And then right here, you're gonna wanna delete this and type in. S I P dot VoIP Buster oops, sorry VoIP Buster dot com and I have it already right there. An email address you gotta type in a valid email address. Cra no, I'll type into mine. Crazy202 at hotmail dot com. Oops, live dot com. <laughs> And then here, type in your password. And here, you want to change this to 30 seconds. And here, you have to type in your verification codes. And then right here, it says that if you don't use it for 30 days your account will be terminated and click submit I already have an account set up so it won't work for me but um, but afterwards it, it'll it should say that it'll send you it has sent you a uh, an email saying your account uh, your your number to your iPod or your um, and your SIP number and your password but I already have that set up so I'll go back to my iPod Set it back up the phone application. Sorry, let's just get this set up here. And I'm going to call it right now. And let's just see if it works. And it's working right there. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the that's the first generation iPod touch speaker. Uh, I made to work with the um, to work with the uh, the alarm that the phone calls. Um, if you want to know how to do that, I have another video. You can go check that out. Uh, go to my other videos. But that proves it that it does work. That you can do it. If you have any other questions or comments, please write them down there. And if you would like this video, if it helped you in any way, please subscribe. I'll try to get more videos out. I, I like to do videos that I found out for myself. I don't like to copy anyone else's work. But thanks for watching.